call the roll and council members, please unmute for this section. Kelly. Here. Bishop. Francatelli. Present. Cleveland. Conwell. Here. Griffin. Here. Hairston. Present. Johnson. Here. Bashir Jones. Joe Jones. Casey. Present. McCormack. Present. Mooney. Present. Polensic. Present. Santana. Present. Slife. Present. Spencer. You have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Working screens here, one sec. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, if everybody could please pause for a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This council meeting is being held during the COVID-19 emergency declaration and is being conducted as a virtual meeting in accordance with Ohio's open meeting laws as amended by House Bill 404. In compliance with the charter and rules of council, a copy of all legislation to be heard during this council meeting was furnished previous to this meeting to every council member through their council email. It is hereby acknowledged without objection that all council members have received this legislation. Further, council members must be visibly present for all votes. If you are not present, your vote will not be counted. Madam Clerk, please dispense with the journal. I council member Griffin that the reading of the minutes of the last meeting be dispensed with the journal approved, seconded by council member Santana. Communications. File number 256, 2021, new license application at 7934 Lorraine Avenue, Ward 15. File number 257-2021, transfer of location application at 5601 Tillman Avenue, Ward 15. File number 258-2021, new license application at 7527 Union Avenue, Ward 6. File number 259-2021, transfer of ownership application at 740 West Superior Avenue, Ward 3. File number 260, 2021, transfer of license application at 8035 Superior Avenue, Ward 7. File number 261, 2021, transfer of ownership application at 9402 Lorraine Avenue, Ward 14. Thank you. First reading, emerge yards referred for administrative and committee review. Ordinance 262-2021 by council members Bishop and Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance authorizing the director of public works to enter into one or more concession agreements for the operation of a first class food and beverage service in the public auditorium and conference center for a period not to exceed three years with two one year options to renew exercisable by the director of public works. Ordinance 263-2021 by council members Brancatelli, Bishop and Kelly by departmental request. An emergency ordinance giving consent of the city of Cleveland to, to the county of Cuyahoga for resurfacing of Spring Road from Broadview Road to Jennings Road to apply for and accept an allocation of county motor vehicle license tax funds for the improvement and authorizing the director of capital projects to enter into one or more contracts for the construction and any other necessary agreements for the making of the improvement. Ordinance 264-2021 by council member Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance authorizing payment of membership dues of the city of Cleveland in global Cleveland for 2021. Thank you. First reading emergency resolutions to be referred for administrative and committee review. Resolution 265, 2021, by council members Bashir Jones, Cleveland, McCormack, Brancatelli, and Kelly, 
by departmental request, an emergency ordinance, uh, uh, I'm sorry, an emergency resolution appointing an assessment equalization board to hear objections to estimated assessments with respect to the continuation of the Cleveland Superior Arts Improvement District and the comprehensive services plan for the district and declaring an emergency. Thank you. First reading emergency resolutions to be adopted. Resolution 266 2021 by Councilmember Bishop. An emergency resolution objecting to a new C1 liquor permit at 9305 Miles Avenue. Resolution 267 2021 by Councilmember Johnson. An emergency resolution objecting to a new C2 liquor permit at 11511 Kinsman Road. Resolution 268, 2021, by Council Member Brancatelli, an emergency resolution withdrawing objection to a new D3 liquor permit at 3312 Broadview Road and repealing resolution 207, 2020, objecting to said permit. Read the motion to suspend the rules. By Council Member Griffin, that the rules be suspended and the legislation just read be placed on final passage, seconded by Council Member Santana. Please call the roll. Kelly, Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Polensic, Santana, Slife, Spencer. 12 yeas, no nays. Thank you. Please call the roll on adoption. Kelly, Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Polensic, Santana, Slife, Spencer. 12 yeas, no nays. Thank you. Second reading, emergency ordinances to be passed. Ordinance 534-2020 by Council Members Hairston, Johnson, and Kelly by departmental request. An emergency ordinance authorizing the Director of Public Works to enter into one or more concession agreements for the operation of a food and beverage concession at Collinwood Athletic Complex for the Department of Public Works for a period of one year with two one-year options to renew exercisable by the Director of Public Works. Ordinance 99-2021 as amended by Council Members Johnson and Kelly by departmental request an emergency ordinance to amend section 133.29 of the codified ordinances of Cleveland, Ohio relating to golf course rates. Ordinance, ordinance 102-2021 by council members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance authorizing the director of public safety to enter into one or more contracts with the International Association of Chiefs of Police to conduct training through a faculty development workshop and to provide mentoring and instruction through leadership and police organization training for the Division of Police Department of Public Safety. Ordinance 130-2021 by Council Members McCormack and Kelly by departmental request an emergency ordinance authorizing the director of public health to enter into one or more contracts with Merrick House to provide mom's first services to women at risk of poor birth outcomes on the west side of Cleveland for a period of one year. Ordinance 148-2021 by council members Griffin and Kelly by departmental request an emergency ordinance authorizing the executive director of community relations board to apply for and accept a grant from Cuyahoga County Court of Common Pleas Juvenile Division to conduct the 2021 Cleveland Community Division, I'm sorry, Diversion Program. Ordinance 198-2021 by Council Members Bishop and Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance authorizing the purchase by one or more requirement contracts of rock salt for the Division of Streets Department of Public Works for a period of one year. Ordinance 208-2021 by council members Brancatelli, Bishop and Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance authorizing the director of public works to enter into an agreement with the state of Ohio Department of Transportation to maintain, repair and plow the Jennings Freeway in exchange for road salt for a period of two years with three one-year options to renew exercisable by the, the department, by the director of public works. Ordinance 209-2021 by council members Bashir Jones, Brancatelli and Kelly by departmental request, 
an emergency ordinance authorizing director of economic development to enter into contract with Inspirion Group or its designee to provide economic development assistance to partially finance the development of the Addis View apartments at Chester Avenue and East 90th Street and other associated costs needed to redevelop the property. Ordinance 226-2021 by council members Bashir Jones, Bishop and Kelly by departmental request. An emergency ordinance to amend sections two and 10 of ordinance 822-2020 relating to the East 66th Street Roadway Improvement Project. Ordinance 229-2021 by council members Bishop and Kelly by departmental request an emergency ordinance authorizing the purchase by one or more requirement contracts for the transfer and disposal of tires for the Division of Waste Collection and Disposal Department of Public Works for a term of two years. Ordinance 243-2021 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance to amend Section 50 of Ordinance 194-2021 relating to compensation for various classifications. Ordinance 244-2021 by Council Members Bishop and Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance authorizing the Director of Finance and Public Works to enter into one or more concession agreements for the operation of soft drink, candy, snack, or other vending machines throughout various parks and various city-owned and city-leased buildings for a period not to exceed two years with one with a one-year option to renew exercisable by the directors of finance and public works and to extend the existing concession agreements for a period up to six months or until such earlier time as new concession agreements are entered into under this ordinance. Ordinance 246-2021 by council members Casey, Bishop and Kelly by departmental request an emergency ordinance authorizing director of public works to enter into a grant agreement with West Denison Baseball Leagues to provide free or, or reduced cost recreational youth baseball and softball, including equipment if necessary for a period of one year. Ordinance 248-2021 by Council Member Kelly by departmental request, an emergency ordinance approving the collective bargaining agreement with the International Longshoremen Association, Local 1317, and to amend section 19 of ordinance 194, 2021, relating to compensation for various classifications. Read the motion to suspend the rules. By council member Griffin, that the rules be suspended and the legislation just read be placed on final passage. Seconded by council member Santana. Please call the roll. Kelly, Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Palencic, Santana, Slife, Spencer. Oh, yes, no nays. Please call the roll on passage. Kelly, Bishop, Brancatelli, Cleveland, Conwell, Griffin, Hairston, Johnson, Bashir Jones, Joe Jones, Casey, McCormack, Mooney, Palencic, Santana, Slife, Spencer. 12 yes, no nays. Thank you. This concludes the legislative agenda. Madam Clerk, will you please excuse the absences? By Council Member Griffin, that the absences of Council Member Bishop, Cleveland, Spencer, and Bashir Jones are hereby excused, seconded by Council Member Santana. Thank you. Before we adjourn, uh, some miscellaneous, we have Councilman Mike Palencic. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman, my honorable colleague. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you very much. Have we heard anything more from the administration on the, um, the American Recovery Funds? I've just noticed, I've been reading and trying to follow up, like the, the uh, mayor of um, Akron has already uh, formulated a list and submitted it to their council uh, for uh, proper discussion and resolution. So I'm just wondering, has there, have we received anything, any guidelines, any additional information on these critical funds that we're, we're gonna be receiving, Mr. Chairman? Nope, everything that I am aware of, I've passed on. Okay, and, and I appreciate you being upfront and frank about that. I just think, again, my, my greatest concern is that, that, that we just don't get something dumped on us on the 11th hour. 
um, because all of us, as, uh, as we've heard from the previous discussion, all of us have had submitted good ideas and good thoughts and discussions. And I'm just trying to understand what the, the rules of engagement are here and what, can we, what these funds can qualify for and what they cannot qualify for. So again, uh, I'm hoping that someone from administration is watching this. I think it, it would do us a great disservice uh, and our residents a great disservice just to get something dumped on us um, and without, only, without proper yes. discussion here. The only thing that's going to get dumped on us is the acceptance legislation, which I'm happy to accept, where okay. we're going to have to accept the first half of it. Everything yep. else is going to be council approval. We're going to continue to have our discussions. Okay. That, I, I appreciate that, Mr. Chairman, because I'm, I'm just I'm concerned because I'm seeing what's happening in other cities across the state. And so I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page in that. I, thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Chair, on that point, if I could. Uh, Councilman Griffin. If Councilman Polensic will allow me, sure. um, the uh, point that Councilman Polensic is making, all of those funds have to be appropriated and approved by council. That's right. right. I'm aware of that. Anything over $50,000. So, right. Okay. So, so what I want to make sure is that I, I hear Councilman Polensic is that we don't want an 11th hour to say, this is what we need to do. But um, Mr. Chair, what I would really hope that we can have a discussion at at some point in time is that we have our own person, whether it be the project group or whether it be one of our other consultants that kind of brief us on what the rules are regarding this money um, and have our own consultants. And I'm not sure, Mr. Chair, if you um, have uh, looked at that, but I think that council really needs to have our own person to really help us understand how we uh, uh, expend these dollars. And I'm not sure if you thought about that, Mr. Chair. No, I'm gonna wait for the published um, guidelines to come out and then I'm gonna just make a donation of what we need to do with them that needs to be. Okay, thank you, Mr. So as Chair. As soon as I get that, I'll... Thank you, Mr. Chair. Councilman Conwell. Thank you. Okay. I wasn't Mr. Sure. President, um, I'm going to need a an excuse absence next week, Monday. I'll be, I'm going to drive to Raleigh, North Carolina. It's my 36th wedding anniversary. So I have to be with the missus. We're going to be there um, out of the city. So it's the 36th one. So I just need to Thank you very, very much. Yes. Thank you, Councilman. Um, Councilman Plensick, I see your hands up. Did I cut you off before yeah. you were completed? Yes, yes, you did, Mr. Chairman. Sorry about that. And the floor is yours. Unmute, please. Unmute, please, Councilman. Can you hear me now? Can you hear? Me? Yes. Yes. No, you, you mute yourself again. Here you go. Now okay. we're talking. Uh, and and to Mrs. Conwell, she has my condolences. Okay. So okay. Um, so and so the the other other uh, part of this. Have we had any other additional information? Uh, coming out of Columbus as it pertains to those wonderful uh, human beings down there in the state house um, attempting to take our um, our um, income tax from folks that are working outside of the city. We had any additional information on that? Yes, um, there is um, a bill that we're watching very closely that is working its way, you know, it's it's been introduced. It had a hearing in Ways and Means Committee. Okay. Um, it's cloaked as a clarifying ordinance, but it's really not. It really, um, it seems to give more um, opportunity to challenge one's tax, but it's uh, it's got two more committees to go to and are watching it very closely. Okay, and Mr. Chairman, I thank you. Do we know if the administration is lobbying, hopefully down in Columbus? Yeah. <laughs> are I they? Talk to the director about it. Yes, I just talked to the director about it today. Okay, that's that's good to know. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, I'm fine. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Charles Slife. Happens every time. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, just very quickly, and, and thank you to Councilman Polensic for answer, asking that very important question about what's happening in Columbus. You know, a year ago, we found ourselves in this predicament. We, we entered into a state of emergency, and we've made a lot of adjustments accordingly. Have there been talks with the administration about how we unwind off of all of this? I'm getting a lot of questions about, you know, when City Hall will be reopened or, um, you know, when we'll go back to permitting summer events. And it's, I think we all realize that we're moving in the direction we want to move, but there's a lot of questions about what 
uh, exact points we are waiting for to be able to start to reopen and uh, resume some sense of norm normalcy. And if I'm, I'm interested in what what conversations leadership has had, and if there haven't been any, perhaps we need to have some sort of hearing to that end. All the conversations about um, summer um, summer permitting and everything else I've I've shared in terms of when City Hall will open will open. Uh, I don't have any additional information there, but I'll get a and, and pass that along. Thank you. It's you know every month uh, the the it's you know a couple weeks likely the mayor will extend the emergency for another month. And I guess I'm interested at some point there will be a moment where the emergency doesn't need to be extended, uh, but I'm still unclear as to what that is. So thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Councilman Conwell, did you have an additional comment? Yes. I see that I'm headed down to Columbus on Thursday at 11 a.m. House Bill 22, final hearing is this Thursday. That's the house bill that you can't take pictures of uh, police officers. And um, I got to fight against that bill. I'm going to take some people down there with me. I just received a text. It's up for uh, hearing. So I'll be down there um, trying to do some battles against it, man. You can't, you can't, um, you got to fight. And you got to fight against these, uh, these people down state. Especially House Bill 22 is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. So if anyone wants to join me um, down there um, this Thursday at 11 a.m., I'm headed down there. I'll probably get up early in the morning around 8 a.m. and hit the road to go down there to testify. Not a good thing. I will talk with some of my people. Just want to give you the heads up. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, if there's nothing else for the good of the order, um, this council is adjourned. Our next regular scheduled meeting will be on April 26, 2021. Thank you all very much.